Okay, so next, domain and range. Okay, domain. What is domain and what is range? Okay, back to our function. Z is a function of x, y. Or in more general. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so as I mentioned before, input, output. So this one is input. X and Y should be together as a set. X cannot be stand alone. Y cannot be stand alone. X and Y should be comes together. They are coming together to give Z. So it should become as a, a set. Okay. So this is called domain. Okay. Input mean. Sorry. Domain mean input. Well, output is called as range the outcome when you have a domain domain should become as a set in the form of set okay the set of the x and y will give you the set of the range the, which is the value of the very many value of z it's not only one okay um, for example when you have f one two will give you three when you have f 0, 1 will really give you 4. So, the combination of all the set of x and y that you have, you have infinitely many uh, 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 value of x and y, so it becomes a set. Similarly, the very many of the output value, which is called a range. Okay, so now, uh, when I ask you to determine the domain and the range of the given function, so how can you uh, elaborate uh, in mathematical language? If I am um, I'm asking you directly uh, using, I mean directly without, you need to uh, write down on the paper. So you can just say, oh, it can be any x, it can be any y. But how can you... Uh, Use the language of mathematics in explaining your answer. So, uh, normally, we are using this form. Okay. So, if you want to answer that particular question about the domain, so this is the way how can you write down. You must put this one, okay. So, how can we, you write down uh, by hand? Okay, so uh, you can use a domain full, D-O-M-A-I-N, or you can just, just use D. So normally I'm just using D. D is given by, okay, now you have the set, okay, the group of number of, X, a value of X and Y. And this is, you open the set using the curly bracket, and then you close by the curly bracket as well. But you have some you have to put something inside the curly bracket. So firstly, you can see that, okay, domain is the set of x, y. So that is the, how can you explain uh, in sentence of this symbol. So the set of x, y, where, okay, where x and y are real number. Or you can split them. Or you can just put them all together. X and Y are any number or real, any real number. Or you can split them. You, you can use this form or you can use this form. It's okay. And then if there is constraint, as I put the question mark here, meaning that if is there any constraint, any condition so that the X, Y always exists? If, you can, if your answer is yes, then you have to write down the condition for the constraint but if there is no constraint then you can just close it okay let's say you don't have any constraint and then you can just close the set so that is the the answer if you want to explain about the domain okay okay now back to the question mark here what is the thing that you can say that there is a constraint there is a condition Okay, as I put here, uh, your function, so you have to back to your function, your equation. 
So your equation can be in this form, in the square root form, in the fraction form, or in the logarithmic form. So if this are the case, so let's say you have uh, the square root function or equation, do you think, is there any condition that you can have? Okay, let's say uh, I put the example is x plus y. Okay, now you are thinking about domain, the value of x, y, x and y. So that uh, the output always a real number. Always thinking about real number, okay? So we are discussing about a real number, a real thing. Not the imaginary number, imaginary things. Okay, is there any condition so that the value of the function here always exists? What do you think? Okay, so I cannot hear your answer. But I'm sure that you want to say that the value inside here should be, should be what? So the value of x plus y should be always greater and equal to 0. So that your square root here will give you a value. Is that possible for you to put or to calculate the, the square of minus 4? What is the answer? You use a calculator. So what is the calculator give you? And of course, the answer is math error, right? So for calculator, give you when calculator give you math, uh, um, math error, meaning that the value does not exist. Okay, so the value does not does not exist. Imaginary number does not exist. Tak wujud, tak ada. Okay, so that it's become this one becomes the constraint. This one becomes the constraint. So that's why I put the star here. This is become the constraint of your domain. You can put any x and y as long as the value of x plus y always positive or zero. Okay, how about the fraction form? Let's say you have uh, 1 over x plus y. Okay, you want to calculate that. Okay, now answer me. What is the condition of the value of x, y? So that they're always a real number. So 1 here fixed. Okay, we don't bother 1 here because 1 is fixed. So now we look at the denominator. So what is the condition for the denominator? Can we have 1 over 0? Use your calculator and compute 1 over 0. Also make error, which is does not exist. Okay, so meaning that you can set and give a constraint that x plus y cannot be equal to 0. But it can be negative. It can be positive. But not 0. Okay. So look at the, the third one. Ln. Okay. Ln of x plus y. Okay. Now you can use your again calculator. Maths need calculator. Okay. You have to put your calculator beside you when you... You you are learning, you are discuss, studying about the mathematics. You, mu you must have the calculator with you. Okay, so let's say you want to compute ln 0.1. Can you get the number? Hmm? Yes, can. <laughs> yes, right? Okay, and then ln of 10. Can you get the number? Can you get a value? Yes. But... Can you put negative 0 0.5? Can you put ln of negative 1? This one will give you does not exist. How about, how about ln 0? How about ln 0? Also does not exist. So what is the condition the condition is x plus y the value of the x plus y should be always greater than zero cannot be negative cannot be zero okay so that is the the uh, function or equation that you have to take note uh, to get the uh, to describe the domain okay okay so from the slide Sorry about that. Hmm. 
Okay, so I already explained to you this one. Okay, now about the range. Is there any constraint for the range? And how can you write down the range? Okay, just now uh, we have domain. How about range? Range R. Okay, or, or you can use R A N G. Similarly, has to do with the set. You have to have the open bracket and close curly bracket. Now you want to get the value of Z. So oh, the value of Z, only one Z. Z. Okay, the range is the value of Z where Z must be always real number. Okay, is there any constraint? Yes, if it is yes, then you have to put here. But if there is no constraint, meaning that it can be any value of Z, always a real. So you can just close it. Don't put any constraint. Okay, so hopefully you know how to write down the domain and the range. So this always uh, become a favorite question in exam. That's all final. Okay, so now how can you determine the range, uh, the, the constraint? So you have to answer all the questions. Maybe you can say that Z always positive. So when you have Z always positive, then you have to say, which is when Z is always positive, so Z always greater than or equal to zero. Then you have to put that constraint. Or you want to say Z always negative. If Z always negative, then you have to have like this, like that. And you can uh, figure out, you can uh, find out, is Z always zero? Or um, it's not possible that or zero, but you can see uh, include zero or does does not include zero. Then you have to uh, take note on that. And maximum value, maybe you want to say that um, that always greater and equal to four. So meaning that four is the smallest value or the minimum value. Or you want to say that maybe if you found out, you find out that your your output value always smaller than four. So if it is smaller than 4, so you can see that, yes, the value of Z has maximum value, which is 4. Okay, so if that is the, the, the constraint that you have to put in the question mark here. Okay. Uh, okay, about my example just now, X plus Y. Okay, as uh, provided in the slide there. Okay, just now we already uh, we used the example of X plus Y. Now I want to be more specific on the domain and the range. Okay, so look at the example one here. Uh, F is X plus Y. So the question is determine the domain and the range of the function and then sketch the domain. Okay, so here your function is X that's why okay so now you want to describe the domain okay firstly write down the domain domain is the value of the set of x y where x y always real okay and then is there any condition so now we want to check Okay, look at your x plus y. Z equal to x plus y. Okay, ask yourself, is there any condition of x and y so that z always real number? Can you see any any problem? Can you see any constraint? There is no constraint, right? You can put any x, you can put any y when then you can have any z. Do you agree with me? Yes, okay, so no constraint. Since it is no constraint, then you can just close it. You want to say that, okay, in word, in language, it is it, this this kind of uh, mathematical language is actually want to tell you that, okay, I can put any value of x and uh, of value of x y so that I can have any value of z. That's it. You can choose any x. You can choose any y. That's it. Okay. Now, uh range okay firstly write down the the standard or the template on describing the range mathematically so 
the range is the value of z when z is always real number so is there any condition okay. i know okay since you see this just now or this one x can be any number y can be y can be any number so how about z z also can be any number it can be negative it can be positive and in fact it can be zero right so no constraint so no constraint then you can just close it that's it so that is the answer for the example one about the domain and the range if you give me this so you got full mark okay but now there is extra question here then sketch the domain region the domain sketch the domain so when they say that sketch the domain so you just focus on domain okay some some sometimes the question asking for sketching the domain okay so just focus on the domain okay so can you see any constraint here no constraint right so meaning that for the sketching of the domain okay because this one is has to do with the x only x and y only i mean only x and y so your sketching must be on 2d on y x 3 that is not like nothing to do with z so only 2d uh, y x plane but how can you sketch because you you don't have any specific equation that you can refer to so since you see that i can put any x i can put any y okay from here you can just in terms of sketching actually there is nothing that you can sketch there is no specific curve you meaning that you can choose any point on the first quadrant any point over here any point over here you can choose any point over here and you can choose any point over here you uh, as a, a conclusion meaning that you can choose any value so uh, uh, now in answering and uh, the, the question about the sketching of domain so this is your answer you want to tell me you want to tell us uh, the sketching of the domain is actually any point on the xy plane. So this is the way you can sketch. Understand? Okay. Maybe at the moment you're still confused, but it's okay. I will give you another example so that you can have more clear uh, understanding. Okay. So that is for the example one. Okay, actually, um, here, as I mentioned before, we are, from the slide, uh, we are using the apps to sketch, but it is unfair, right? Because uh, in exam, I'm asking you to sketch my hand, so that's why I uh, I think uh, this is more understandable rather than this, because this one is actually, as you can see that, this one is actually this one. Okay, your... your um, Okay, actually, I can open through here. Oh, where is where is my notes? This one. Just a second. Okay, this one. So actually, uh, you don't need to bother about this line. Okay, there is no line here. Okay, just ignore this one. Because, uh, just now we said that x and y can be any value. So where is your x y uh x y uh x axis y axis so this is your axis over here and this one okay and your point is all over here you can choose any point on the x y plane okay so this line is useless actually okay tak, tak perlu pun. so for information this line is not mine I am using someone's I'm uh, other lecture, other lecturer because my my slide is very um, very very old. Because this slide is I think more interesting, lots of colorful. So I'm using my my friend's slide. Okay. Now, uh, next we look at example two. <coughs> 